are you doing today? It is a beautiful morning today and it is quite fucking early. I'll tell you that. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic weekend already. I know I am. I have to apologise though to one of my friends. Um, I couldn't make the, it buddy to your birthday. But I hope you had a blast. I hope that you got smashed. And uh, hope all was good. I'll make it up to you and you know I will. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, today is the 27th of May. It is Comic Con. Well, Comic Con's been uh, across the whole weekend, but we're going up on the Saturday. Should be good. I've heard lots of fans dressed there, so we're about to go get ready. Um, me and my girl. Me and my girl. Um, me and girlfriend. Uh, who's taking me? Jesus Christ, I've just noticed my eyes look very slitty, but needless to say, I'm going to catch you guys in a bit. Um, I'm going to get ready and I'll catch you guys in a bit. See you later. Ta da. Comic-Con uh, 2017 at the London XL. Yeah, today it's been very good. We dressed up as the Hulk and She-Hulk. Can't really see him, we'll show you guys later on. But yeah, I haven't actually seen a single Hulk yet today. Um, but yes, uh, probably because they can't match up to our awesomeness. So anyway, catch you guys in a bit. We're gonna go have a, a quick little drink. Um, probably a nice cold pint would be awesome. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. ta -da. How are you? We're in uh, the PlayStation. Have you asked? Uh, yeah. Come with me, she has no idea what she's doing. Hey guys, so yeah, so did some virtuality, sorry about that, it did cut out, but I'll tell you one thing, that shit is nuts. I didn't even expect it to be that good, but it is. I fell off a cliff and nearly passed out. Very embarrassing, but yeah. It's pretty cool that Top Gear's here. You know, we were going to go on it, but we decided not to. Some cool little games here. Over there, here. Got some like Guitar Hero shit here. And yeah, over here, we've got some uh, weird looking people over here, yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty cool, we're pretty cool. So yeah, we'll catch you in a bit, and yeah, see you in a bit, So we're going to run through all these out. Red Virtual will be with you with the cosplay very soon. 
Is this within the main arena, guys? Showcasing uh, cosplay outfits and stuff like that for people to win a competition to go to Japan and showcase their cosplay. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. At the bar here, right now. Yeah. Uh, just gonna go in, have a have a big pee, and uh, yeah, continue our day as uh, the Hulk and She-Hulk. Yeah, yeah, can do. So we've just got out of the main event today, uh, but we are going to the after party, so it should be pretty cool. You're just sitting by the shitty ass river, scummy people chucking all their shit in it. It's literally horrible. Anyway, regardless of it, we'll catch you guys later after that. Just having a couple of brewies, and yeah, see you in a bit. Rawr. on the way back to on the way back from home after spending the whole of Saturday at Comic Con. What I'll do guys is I will uh, get back to you when I am back. Right. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm just gonna go get the bus and yeah I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So I don't just got back um, home and I'm just doing some design work. I'm just going to have a just going to have a, a little bit of a sleep. No. No, 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 no. But just got back home and now I'm doing a little bit of design work. Here's a sneak peek of it. Yeah, uh, on After Effects, um, and yeah, it's going so good. Uh, I will just gonna go grab some food, and I'll chat to you guys in a bit about Comic Con and what it was like being there. It was my first time being there, and I'll tell you what, guys, the the show was pretty cool. So I'm just gonna relax for a little bit, um, get time to just mellow down a little bit, uh, and finish up this design as well as have something quick to eat and yeah I'll uh, catch you guys in a mole guys how are you doing today um sorry it's taken me a while to get back to you just being super busy um uh, doing that editing I've just finished it and I want to see what you guys think of it and let me know in the comics what you think of it uh, did I say cock? No, I didn't say cock. I thought I said cock instead of comments. Anyway, let me know what you think of it. Look, I'll show you right now. Uh, bear with me for one second. I'll uh, flip the camera over. No, fuck it. Anyway, let me just uh, get it up for you. I... Bear with me for one second. Just 
two seconds while I get this, uh, get it up. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. It is uh, Tuesday today, I do believe. So, yeah, it's been a few days since I last spoke to you. Uh, and I know that's kind of bad, but I did plan on uh, getting back to you. It's just editing. I was so tired and knackered. I just, you know how it is. You know how it is. Anyway, I've got this done. This uh, intro, uh, this bloody moth that's flown in, uh, and I want to show it to you guys. And see what you think of it. Right, have a look. Right, you can see there. That's uh, you probably can't see. You know what? I'm going to flip the camera around and yeah, I'm going to pause the video and flip around and you'll see then. All right, one, two, three. As you can see, like this is my second channel. Um, bit, bit of a pooper, this one is. But yeah, so if I click on this video, make this uh, big. You should. <laughs> We are wrong. Fucking hell. You know what never loses signal? Paper. Uh, and welcome back to the show. Oh, Jesus. Be so loud, I forgot that it was on a hundred. Christ, I hope I didn't wake anybody up. Anyway, guys, back onto the main topic of today. It is about Comic Con. Now, uh, would I recommend anybody going that hasn't gone? Um, yeah, I would. I'd say that Comic Con was was a blast. Now, for those that you're thinking, oh God, is it about a bunch of geeks that get dressed up and like jizz over Pikachu? No, it is not. There is a little bit of that, but it is not. Comic-Con is all range of things. You've got movies, you've got um, games that are coming out, uh, you've got comics, you've got cosplay, you've got, you've just got loads of things. There's a lot of things to do. Um, it is one of those things that you have to get up early. I saw it at the MCM in London XL, uh, which is at the Victoria Docks. I've been there a few times. Um, work related and uh, the venue itself is pretty huge I mean when you go in uh, you've got the main food hall bit which is like a big corridor I mean the corridor is massive down the sides of it you've got loads of like food hall not loads of food halls you've got loads of like food shops you've got everything that you want you've got pasta you've got burgers you've got Japanese you've got everything it caters for everybody and then either side of those that hole, uh, there's like massive, um, what do you call them? Massive doors, but they're not really doors, they're kind of like gates that open, and when you go into them, they're like the size of like a aircraft hangar, but imagine it like a hundred times bigger, um, long ways, width, sorry, not long ways, width. And it's, it's freaking huge. Sometimes they have the partitions in, but that's still like a bloody brilliant, bloody brilliant. So a bloody big room. Um, you could fit literally like my whole street down it uh, and the houses. So it's pretty, pretty big and still have room as well. So they're pretty big rooms. Um, and yeah, like they have like events on where you know if you for the best dressed if you're going to dress up well you've got to kind of dress up if you're going to comic con i was the hulk uh didn't know if i could pull it off i was either going to go as ant-man or doctor strange or um the guy from watchman the one with the multicolored weird shit going on um or maybe we were going to go as guardians galaxy now i have to say i was shocked to 
you know, there is hardly anybody dressed as Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, the reason why I'm shocked about this is just because the new film just came out, and you would have thought Comic Con coming up around the corner, everybody's going to want to be dressed up as Groot or Drax or Rack the um, the raccoon. I've got his name now. Um, Rocket, that's the one. But nobody was. You saw that I think I only saw there was a few people in there that were dressed up as uh, Star Lord. But that's about it. And the Incredible Hulk. I, I was pretty much the only Incredible Hulk there. I saw one person and he was five years old. So. Um, yeah, there was nobody else dressed as the Hulk, and you would have thought, fucking hell, the Hulk is quite old. Sorry about that, guys. Again, um, my phone, it cut out because it's just really, really crap. Uh, the storage on it is just bollocks. But yeah, like, yeah, no, it's quite an obvious character to go as uh, the Hulk, but there is nobody there other than me as the Hulk but yeah it was uh it was really good we met some cool people as well we saw Thor we I teamed up with the Avengers got up on stage made myself look a tit as I do usually you know um, funny story actually uh, at a friend's wedding I uh, got really really drunk um, a really good friend and I was gonna do a speech but, uh, and he was unsure of me doing speech because he thought I'm just going to chat absolutely rubbish and kind of make no sense at all, really. And, uh, well, uh, it, it got later on and I said, you know, don't worry yet. I'll do some uh, photography and stuff there as well. And I had a few more drinks. And as I went to go do the speech... Exactly what he thought would happen is I just got so drunk that I just slurred my words and uh, made no sense whatsoever in front of like 500 people. It was uh, embarrassing but at the same time it wasn't. I kind of rolled with it and did like a three minute speech of gibberish and everybody seemed to love it. And some people seem to like I don't know what happened but anyway back onto the story that was very camp for me <laughs> Ew. anyway yeah um Comic Con was good would I go there again yes I would go there again um I thought it was a blast they had weird stalls there as well like I said they've got everything there you've got like some um yeah, PlayStation there, which we did try out. We tried out some virtual reality, which I just wanted to try out just to see what all the fuss was. You see all these people screaming out their knickers and shit like that. And I tell you what, it is really good. Um, I kind of shat myself. Kind of does make you feel like you're in the game. And, and I fell off a cliff. And I know that I was on the ground, but it still felt real to me. So my heart was racing. Um... The one thing that I would say is it did make me feel a bit sick, like it was just hurting on my eyes. So when I took off the headphones and came back to reality, I was like, does it say headphones? I mean, uh, goggles. Um, I thought, oh God, my eyes going to hurt. It made me feel a little bit sick uh, and a little bit tired. But that's probably only because you've got like, imagine you watching TV like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see. Yeah. Um, and when you take that web. Like obviously the glare and stuff. It's like you playing video games really close up. It hurts your eyes a little bit. But yeah, um, overall I thought it was really good. VR, definitely a thumbs up. Definitely should go try it out. It, it is really good. Uh, and even my other half thought it was really good as well. She tried it out. She tried the better one out. Because uh, it was like first come surfs. First come surfs. Blah. First come, first serve. Sorry, I kind of messed it up. And she got the best one, and I got the all right one. Well, I had a gun as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, and she had Batman, which she said that was really good. And yeah, they have stores where they're selling swords and stuff, like real swords. 
um, and knives and daggers and things which are which are pretty cool uh, which you probably would have seen earlier on in the uh, vlog itself um, and yeah it was just a really good fun atmosphere they had top gear was there as well uh, they had famous celebrities there i did not get to meet louis ferrigno even though that he was there that, and for those of you that don't know he is the original hulk um he didn't even need any cgi because he was that <laughs> but yeah um didn't get to see him there's so many big queues. Mini Me was there. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, loads of people there, and it was uh, it was a blast. So I would recommend it as well. But yeah, anyway, guys, I am gonna pause the video there. I know it's a short, 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 short vlog, but yeah, um, I'm quite tired and gotta get some sleep. But yeah, I don't know if I'll do another one. I probably will do some more vlogs just to keep it going, just see what this whole YouTube thing is like. Um, and that's what I'm trying to get out for, just to see what it's like, the vlogs. Uh, oh, another moth is coming. And just see what it's about, you know. Um, I'm not one of these people that's just like, oh, look at me. Look out, look at my life. So good. Because it's not, in reality, it's kind of boring and shit. Um, but yeah, I just thought I might as well try it. You only live once and fuck it. Why not? something to do um, and yeah that's it really so yeah hope you guys have had a lovely day hope you've enjoyed the vlog as well uh, if you did give it a massive thumbs up I mean literally just shove it up your ass your thumb I don't know uh, no give it a massive thumbs up hit that like a button down below also hit that subscribe button it does really help me out make me want to make more videos i don't know why i did that i was just excited to say subscribe so subscribe to the channel there will be more videos and there will be more you know ones that you can just like think what the fuck is this guy talking about but yeah anyway guys i hope you guys are safe and sound and had a pleasant evening weekend sorry uh, and at the end of each vlog i will do a little quote for you inspirational quote because you know i love helping people i just do i just love making people smile um because it's just something i do but i don't like telling people that because it's just a bit of a weird thing isn't it really some people may say it's great some people may it's but I don't know. Anyway, I don't care. Um, so, yeah, I'll read you a little one of these quotes out of this book. I'll just kind of flick through it. Oh, stop. The sexiest curve on your body is your smile. Flaunt it. That is literally an inspirational quote there. Uh, I'll read another one because that one is a bit... What? Okay, here we go. Risks must be taken because the greatest hazard in life is to risk nothing. And that was done by Leo Bascalia. It's quite a good quote there. But yeah, guys, I stay safe, live life, don't care about what anybody else thinks, apart from the people that you love. And keep them in your heart always. But yeah, anyway. Please like and subscribe. And I hope you guys are safe. Hey guys. I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are happy. Uh, keep your head up high. And keep smiling. If you guys were sad at the beginning of this video. And it made you smile and made you happy. That's all good for me. If it didn't, then tune in to some more videos and hopefully they'll make you smile but just remember not everything's doom and gloom there's always grass on the other side but yeah that's enough from me guys good day please like and subscribe even though i've said that about a dozen times and you're probably sick of it sleep tight and i'll catch you soon Tada. ciao <laughs> Thank you.